Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mr. Chair, Excellencies, Ministers, uh, dear colleagues, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to express my sincere thanks to the Republic of Azerbaijan for convening this midterm ministerial conference and highly commend its active leadership at the helm of the non-aligned movement during these challenging times. As this year marks the 60th anniversary of our movement, I wish to seize this opportunity to stress the need for all of us to remain deeply committed to the ideals and principles of NAM as enshrined by the Founding Fathers when they took the historic step to establish this ever-expanding gathering of like-minded countries for the protection of their national independence and the promotion of international peace. At this point, I wish, on behalf of President Abdel Majid Taboun and the people of Algeria, to pay a well-deserved tribute to all the founding fathers of the movement, including the leaders of the Algerian Liberation Movement and the Provisional Government of the Republic of Algeria. Mr. Chair, there is no doubt that the current global health crisis calls for more solidarity and more cooperation, these values that are very dear to our movement. Therefore, the need to join efforts to ensure global access to vaccines and different kinds of medical equipment, knowledge and expertise, as well as support the economic recovery of all countries around the world. And needless to say that we have to act decisively and promptly to avoid more victims of the so-called vaccine nationalism because this crisis has adamantly proven that no one is safe until everyone is safe everywhere, particularly in Africa. Mr. Chair, while we focus on fighting the COVID-19 pandemic, other pandemics that have been around for many decades in the names of terrorism, transnational crime, armed conflicts, climate change, to mention just a few, continue to claim the lives of too many innocent people around the globe. The transnational nature is the common feature to all these challenges. That's why, again, unilateralism is doomed to fail. And if we are to overcome these common threats, we have no choice we have no choice but to renew our commitment to multilateralism as a system based on clear and fair rules, consistent with the goals and principles embodied in the United Nations Charter. In this regard, we firmly believe that non-aligned countries, thanks to their collective political and diplomatic wit, can play an important role in enhancing international cooperation, promoting initiatives for the sake of preventing and resolving conflicts and enforcing international law. For its part, Algeria will continue to uphold the values of multilateralism in all its efforts to promote political and peaceful solutions to the crisis in its neighborhood and beyond, as well as in its numerous initiatives to boost regional and continental economic integration and shared prosperity. Mr. Chair, at its best, multilateralism protects the weak from the powerful and advocates for justice and equity to ensure collective security. Drawing from its long-standing principles, our movement has always been a strong advocate for all peoples living under foreign occupation. 
it has never failed to demonstrate its solidarity with them and it should continue to do so. In Palestine, we should be more assertive in supporting international efforts aiming to address the underlying source of the conflict by putting an end to occupation and by enabling the Palestinian people to effectively establish their independent state with Al-Quds as its capital. In Western Sahara, the regained military conflict between the Kingdom of Morocco and the Fronte Polisario deserves greater attention from the international community. We therefore call on the United Nations Secretary General to expedite the appointment of his, his personal envoy and to launch a credible political process between the two parties with the aim of reaching a just and lasting political solution that will provide for the self-determination of the people of the Sahrawi Republic, a founding member of the African Union. Mr. Chair, dear colleagues, in conclusion, I would like to assure you that Algeria will remain committed to enhancing the work of the non-aligned movement and increasing its effectiveness in dealing with global challenges. We must seize this opportunity. We must seize the opportunity of the 60th anniversary of our movement, not only to highlight its contributions and achievements, but also, and most importantly, to take stock of its shortcomings and failures in order to increase its capacity to adapt and demonstrate its continued relevance in the ever-changing international environment. We certainly can do better to promote a peaceful and prosperous world for current and future generations. I thank you for your kind attention. Thank you.